Hi, mateys. It's Captain Kate Clinton here. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I've got the, the patch on, not to quit smoking, but my pirate patch on because I'm going to go meet the RSVP cruise people in Curacao. I'm getting a little late start because I was celebrating uh, Valentine's Day with my girlfriend, if you know what I'm saying. Brown chicka, brown, brown. I've been to Curacao before. It's a Dutch island. And uh, when I went in the guidebooks, it said it was gay friendly. But that was years ago. And because uh, then uh, translated from the Dutch, gay friendly meant at least we don't drop brick walls on them. And I will be missing some of the Olympics, but I got to tell you, I've missed a lot of the Olympics. I heard that I missed a great opening ceremonies uh, with Anne Murray and Katie Lang. It's sort of like gay. It was like Elton John and Lady Gaga at the Grammys. But I'll tell you why I didn't watch. And that is because I heard the Canadian Sarah McLaughlin was going to be singing. And I don't know what happens whenever she sings. I find myself writing a large check to the SPCA. And if I did write one this time, it would be to the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Athletes. Ah, make it stop. Olympic watching is like being on suicide watch. So, and you're probably wondering about this here. This is my bindi, my Ash Wednesday bindi, because it's Lent. I'll miss big carnival. I'll get there perform on Ash Wednesday night. Isn't that fun? But I've got my Catholic ashes, which are getting bigger than ever. Have you noticed? And I also have a little ash a little bindi, a Hindi bindi right in the middle uh, because it's, uh, I'm in a multicultural relationship and it's lovely. Well, 40 days of Lent when you give up things traditionally and I'll tell you what I'm giving up. I am giving up my political pessimism. And a great reminder is actually not Valentine's Day, but February 15th. That's the birthday of one of my favorite women of all times. She's from upstate New York, from central New York, from the deep magma of feminism surrounding Seneca Lake. You know who I'm talking about. The tall one, the fabulous one, with a great outside shot, Susan B. Anthony. Love her. And Susan B. Anthony said, and we always remember it, I want you to remember it too, Failure is impossible.